to my channel. It's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids at 147. And I finished my ever moment. Um, so this canvas was a custom. This is 100 by 50. Um, but it is finished. Now it's not quite fitting in screen, but it's doing really, really well. So if I just scoot this up. Oh, just a little bit. That is sort of the bottom. There is a row of five white or off-white diamonds so you can pretty much see the scope across the bottom and then across the top all it really is is more white and um, so I think I've not done too bad at actually getting most of this in so to go from one far end so this is the far end see this part is leftover residue that's not sticky um, and then we've got the buildings go all the way across up to the point here that we've got the Statue of Liberty and that's the end of it. It's very hard to see because of um, the canvas being white as well. But that is the canvas finished. Um, I do need to find a frame for it, which is proving challenging, um, but I'll not be beaten. But to show you what I have left from this, so we're still sort of in the ever moment bags. Um, as many of you may know, what I what I did was um, for this background colour, which is three seven five six, I didn't pop that up at all. Um, they all came in bags, um, the big bags, of which you can see I've still got loads. Um, I just used a bag at a time. So as I was working down the painting, if I tipped out a bag of this, I kept going till it was gone. If I needed another one, I opened another one. If I didn't, I moved on to a different colour. So much easier when there is so much of a background colour. Um, I don't know if I'd like to do it with any other manufacturer than ever moment. Um, not this much of a, of a background anyway. But um, And then all I did at the end was I just popped what I had left just into a baggie just to stop it um, escaping. But these are all big bags. Um, and these are all left over just from the background. So as you know, every moment do state that they will give you extra diamonds. I mean, this bag I didn't have to open for many, um, but there's loads. There is absolutely loads left. Never got close to even wondering if I would run out. And if these have about 800 in, I've got loads. Um, as for the rest of the diamonds, what I did was, again, I only opened a bag at a time, um, but whatever I had left uh, of that bag, you know, depending on how much I was working on, I'd just tip into this pot. So I'd open a bag, tip it into the pot, use however many I needed and pop them back into this container and um, that is number 3799 as somebody pointed out to me I did label it up wrong uh, but I did keep it in my head uh, which one it was there's not many of 415 left in that pot but again we have loads of extras so we've got 3752 they're all extras as is that so we've got a bag and a half um, 3841, we've got three small bags. 939, we have a big bag and two small bags. 414, a big bag and a small bag. 415, which was low, still got three bags left. 318, I've got two. 317, I have four small bags left and last but not least what is 3799 I've got a big bag left so even of the colours that there wasn't loads and loads of um, I've got some left the only thing um, that was slightly disappointing with this painting is the drill quality of some of the dark beads so especially the I think it was the 399 um, also it was mainly these darker colours 
So 3799-414-3317. The quality wasn't that great. Um, not what I've come to expect and always have from ever moment there were little little nubs on the diamonds um now they still fit on the canvas there's no popping um they still look good from a distance they just weren't quite as nice to work with um as i've had in the past the whites were great which is good because there was a lot of them um but yeah the other numbers sorry have a moment but um not so good really not so good um anyway i'm happy with how it's turned out um i, I it does make me wonder if some of their standards are slipping maybe a little bit maybe they've changed the manufacturer of the diamonds i'm not quite sure um but let me know your experience if you you know always had a, a good experience with every moment i mean their customer services is is great i can't fault that at all um i didn't raise it with them over these diamonds so i haven't given them the opportunity to fix it um though i'm sure if i had have raised it with them i'm sure they would have fixed it so i'm, I'm not trying to say bad things um about the company because in the past they have gone out of their way to put things right but um the quality say of some of these darker colors that are in the buildings not quite as good as we've as i've had in the past having said that it was still a gorgeous painting to work on um and i did still really enjoy it and i am happy with the size they suggested and the detail that we still get to see anyway i thought i'd show you this finished um i think i'm gonna try and stay away from a painting that's 100 in length just for a little bit um though i did do this sort of in two stages um but yeah i, I do think it's time to stay off the the extremely big paintings i say just for a little bit um and, and do some smaller ones for a break but anyway thank you so much for watching and i'll speak to you all again soon